Hey Rob, we're going to lunch. <laughs> Try to pull yourself away from ultimate duck hunting for one second. <laughs> you guys know where Rob Oh my god. Somebody cut him down! Why, Rob? Why? Hey, look over here. It's a suicide review. He'd want us to watch this. Dear world, I guess this is it. It's all over. I've been made to play ultimate duck hunting and I just don't want to live anymore. I don't blame the guys at Game Trailers who assigned it to me, they were just doing their jobs after all. No, I blame publisher Mid-Carolina Media. I blame them for showing me the face of hell and expecting me to live through it. In ultimate duck hunting, you, not surprisingly, hunt ducks. In career mode, you must first train your dog to go retrieve the ducks that you've murdered. Essentially, what this means is that you click a button three times for each direction, and then the dog is magically trained. Excellent. The whole thing takes roughly three minutes and is about as exciting as it looks. Once your dog is trained to retrieve, you can then set out on your genocidal duck rampage. After picking one of six states to hunt in, you choose your type of shotgun, the color of your dog, and your camouflage color, which ranges from brush, to forest floor, to obsession. You then proceed to place your decoys. After using one of three duck calls, you wait until the ducks arrive and then let loose with your shotgun. After you've shot down the maximum number of ducks, you send your dog out to retrieve them. It's truly a testament to how exciting contemporary games have gotten when a game allows you to actually sit and watch a dog retrieve floundering ducks. Sure, you can give the dog directions towards the duck, but that's almost worse than sitting idly by since the dog will oftentimes be right on top of the duck and still not see it. I almost fell asleep three times while playing this game. It demands that much attention. There is a multiplayer mode, but surprisingly no one else was online playing it. Presumably because they all killed themselves too. The cover of Ultimate Duck Hunting sports a quote that the game is the most realistic 3D multiplayer hunting game ever made. And part of me wants to respond with, I have to take your word for it. It's pretty clear that this game is tailored to actual duck hunting enthusiasts, but I'm pretty sure that even they would rather dust off duck hunt than play this. I want to be honest though, I played this game for a little over an hour. I dare anyone to play it as long as that. In fact, if you beat my record, find me and gloat. Oh wait, you can't, because I'm dead. For those of you who will not heed the warning of this, my last communication to the living world, Know that Ultimate Duck Hunting's graphics aren't really going to push the limits of your video card. Truth is, I expected more from Mid-Carolina Media, whose only other credit includes Gundog, the Bird Hunter's complete hunting dog, which wasn't a game so much as it was a training video for dogs. Some might think that it was rash of me to flee this mortal coil based solely on a poor video game, but if you played this game then you'd understand. And hopefully with this review I've helped save some lives. Thanks for everything, GT. I'm sorry for all those times I took an extra 10 minutes at lunch, and I really didn't mean to lose our one copy of Shadow the Hedgehog. You guys are the best. Ultimate Duck Hunting, on the other hand, is the absolute worst. Over! He was a friend, a hero. A martyr. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs>